Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Up next is the R2-D2 and R5-D4 from Bandai Star Wars. This is an addition to my reviews of the Bandai Star Wars kits that you can find on my channel. And you can find a link to the playlist for all those Bandai kits at the end of this video. So this particular one was issued back in 2015, so I'm not really sure what they're going for today. But uh, it should, a little indicator here will tell me here it was worth uh, 2,400 yen back in 2015. So without wasting any more time here we'll go, go ahead and open this up and we'll review this kit as an open box review and full of plastic of course there's the first bag and it looks like we have the, the um, water slide decals in there we have a lot of colored plastic here blue red gold and white and more white plastic the stand and then the stickers that also were included back in the day with these kits and here's the instructions i'll go ahead and uh, we'll do a review of these instructions here real quick and then we'll go over the kit i'll be right back and of course these instructions are a fold out type instruction manual uh, semi-gloss paper it's not glossy at all which makes it nice and as we know this is 112th scale for these astromech droids all in Japanese here and of course Disney and you can see here uh, we start off with R2D2 here the build there at the same time we do the same thing with uh, R5D4 so that must be how they go about doing it working on the legs and they tell you twice they tell you uh, where the sprue attachments are give you an overall view of how everything goes together up above and combine all the parts and once again, the, the legs continuing on with those. Overall view above there. And putting the, the feet on the legs there. See how the, all that goes together there. And the last page on this side of the paper. Now we have some color involved with the instructions. How to display it on the base. And the optional tools. Very cool there. Everything that you receive in this kit, which there are quite a few parts in this kit. And lastly, where to put all the decals and how to paint it. And the markings and the paint colors down below. Like I said, this is a, a early release of the Bandai Star Wars kits as everything was in Japanese and we, we get not only do we get the water slide decals we also get the stickers. Let's look at the parts and here's a C1 tree and quite a few parts on there. Remember this is a snap together kit very tight tolerances some of the best Star Wars models out there are these Bandai kits. Let's get a closer view and you can see the dome of R2-D2. Some of the tools that are optional. And just a lot of tiny parts here. I probably wouldn't recommend this as your first Bandai Star Wars kit. I would go with a X-Wing or a TIE Fighter.
flip this over. You can see there's details on both sides. This is in a metallic silver color. All right, let's go to the next tree. Here's a C2 tree. And once again, metallic silver, just like the last one. A lot of small parts here too. Let's get a closer look. And you can see here, a lot of details going on. These grates here are superb. Lots of detail. Flip this over. The other side. Let's look at the water slide decals that came with this bag. And here's the water slide decals. A lot of the newer kits, they did away with the water slide decals. So all they give you are the stickers, but the stickers are fabulous. They work just as well as the water slide decals. So I, I wouldn't count them out at all. Give them a try and you'd be very surprised how well the, the stickers work. And close up of the decal sheet. You should see everything pretty well here with the 4K video. Alright, so the next bag contained two sprue trees, and this is the first one. This is multicolored, so we have a dark blue, we have a clear black, we have red, and we have gold color. Now I put a white, you know, a gray background so we can see the blue parts a little bit better. But that's impressive. This is what Bandai does. They're able to inject mold different color plastics into this so you know you really don't even have to paint this it's already color coded for you makes it very nice if you've never built a Bandai Star Wars kit you're missing out I highly recommend you just get one and build it and you'll be you'll be uh, very uh, surprised how fun they are let's get a closer look and you can just see there how the different colors are injected against one another that's really cool Lots of details here. And here's that clear black piece. That's R2-D2's camera. And the gold. Very fine parts there. Got to be very careful when you cut those off the tree, obviously. red parts. Very nice. Look at the other side. Some details there also. But uh, wow. Very impressive. Let's look at the next tree. Alright, the previous tree was uh, tree A. Now this is B1. And everything here is an off-white color or white. Very bright white, actually. Let's get a closer look. Lots of details there on this one. I'll get a little closer here in a second. But very nice. And we'll look at the bodies of R2-D2. Lots of detail there. That's impressive. Looking inside the bodies. Let's go to the next bag of parts. 
And here's the next bag of parts. This is a white tree and this is B2 tree. Once again, we have another similar body. It's very similar to the last one that I showed you. Let's get a closer look. Lots of parts. There's a big parts count with this box. You get a lot for this. More bang for your money, definitely, with this kit. I mean, you're building two full droids, so that's very cool. Turn it over. Very nice. Let's look at the next tree. And this is the typical trees we've been getting with these Bandai kits. These are the stands. So this, in this case, they give us two of them. Let's look at the stickers that came with this issue. And here are the stickers. Like I was saying, they're very high quality. They work very well. They work, I would say, even better than water slide decals. So I would definitely, if I were you, I would give them a try. And here's a close up. The colors are really good on these. Very nice. So let's look at how these uh, look compared to the water slide decals side by side. And here they are side by side. The stickers are on the left and the water slide decals are on the right. But uh, fantastic here. I'm, I'm glad that they did this back in the day, back in 2015. And I'm really not sure if they still do it today on the newer releases of the Star, Star Wars Bandai kits. They have newer ones out there, you know, the, that deal with the Mandalorian movie and such and the Boba Fett show. So that pretty much wraps up my review. I'll be right back. And there you go. That pretty much wraps up my review for this R2-D2 and R5-D4 by Bandai and the Astro Droids here, 112 scale. Um, I, if I was to give this kit a rating from one to five stars, this is definitely a five star and I would highly recommend it. Um, I'm sure there's other versions out there. I know there's a glow version, um, which I have. I'm going to do a review of that in a little bit later, but I plan on building this. This goes along with the Star Wars figures that Bandai came out with, so this is going to be my next build. I have others I want to show you and build also, but uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. So if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. Hit the bell for all video upload notifications and give me a thumbs up. And also, please, uh, comment down below. Give me some, uh, uh, let me know what's out there as far as the R2-D2 kits available today. Do the new kits give you the water slide decals or do you just get the stickers? I don't know. Let me know on that. And let me know, you know, if you enjoy these reviews. If you do, I'll keep doing them. All right. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.